Hmm, I wonder why the principal of Magical High wants to, or the headmistress even, wants to see me on my day off. It's a bit strange, but I guess I should go meet her in her office. So let me go have a look in here. Um, I suppose I should knock. Oh, do come in. Oh, okay. Um, hello, headmistress, um, or Mrs. Crowley. Um, my name is Little Kelly, and, you know, I'm one of the teachers here. You asked me to come. What's going on? Yeah, I've had some calls from the parents saying the kids are in some sort of troubles. They don't know how to, I don't know, use those mobile or laptop thingies? Uh, I don't know, really. Basically, all the girls are in the classroom, and I'd like you to go speak with them. Um, I don't quite understand what you mean by they don't know how to use it, uh, but I guess I can go talk to the girls if, if that's what you want. Oh, little Kelly, really, I don't have time for this jibber-jabber. Will you just go speak to the girls yourself? Um, yeah, okay, Miss Headmistress. Sorry, uh, I kind of, I don't know. Uh, bye. Oh, oh, wow, that was pretty intense. She's awful mean. I wonder why. But I guess I better go meet the girls if they're in my classroom waiting. Gosh, there's a lot of people here for so late. They must be studying and stuff. But let me go check this out. Okay, so let's see. Okay, there's no one seems to be around here. Um, oh, okay. Well, it's not my usual classroom of students, but, um, hello there, girls. Uh, I'm just going to stand up here so all of you can see me. Um, Miss Crowley, the headmistress, told me that some of you are having some trouble online, I think it is. Um, does anyone want to explain? Well, um, it might be because I told my parents that I'm getting bullied online. I don't even know who's doing it, but they say they don't like the way I dress, and they say some really mean things, and I don't like it. I don't know how to make it stop. Oh, well, that is awful. That's really not nice at all. Okay, so this is to do with cyberbullying, it seems. I mean, that's what it appears to be anyway. But we're going to figure out a way to stop that bullying from happening, or at least knowing what to do when it does happen. Um, has anyone else been experiencing any issues? My parents are totally freaking out about me talking in chat rooms. I mean, I don't see the problem with talking with strangers. I'm just making friends. Well, I can see where you're coming from, but there can be some dangers from speaking in chat rooms to people that we don't know. But okay, that's another issue. So bullying, chat room safety, uh, anyone else? Uh, I think my parents, like, sent me here because I racked up a huge uh, phone bill under their name. It's totally not cool, but they've taken my phone off me. Oh, well, that's not good either, racking up a huge phone bill. Um, we'll have to look into a way that you can still use your phone, but not make such a huge bill. But uh, these are all really good day-to-day -day problems, girls. And I feel like all of you should go up to the computer room. I'll meet you up there. I just got to do a little bit of research and I'll meet you upstairs. Okay, I've done all my research, so let's go meet the girls in the computer lab. It's only new, so it's just up these stairs, I think. Yeah, they're all here, and that's a big web screen. So, hello, girls. I've done all my research, and I have a few tips and tricks. So, girls, it's Tesco Mobile Tech in Check Mode, which is really, really good because it tells you how to stay safe online and how to be a good digital citizen which means how to be really good when you're online and how to use the internet safely because we are so young we need to know all of that stuff so the tesco mobile hub gave me some great ideas on how to stay safe online how to be a good digital citizen like in tech and check and how to not give out personal details and how to deal with cyberbullying as well so first of all i'm just gonna log into a chat room let me see Okay, I've logged into a chat room, so let's see if anyone will say hello. Okay, girls, as you can see by, from the screen behind you guys, we've got an IM from someone, and it's from a stranger, and they're saying, Hi, what's your name? So that seems harmless enough, so we're going to type back... So, as you can see, I said, hi, I'm little Kelly, you. So, I didn't give them my last name or any personal details, just my first name, which is okay. So, let's see what they write back. So, 
girls they've messaged back and they've asked me for my last name but that is a personal piece of information so that's definitely something I don't want to say so instead I'm going to say you can just call me little Kelly okay so um that was a bit weird they've just asked me where I live but I'm not gonna tell them exactly where I live but I guess I could tell them the country that I live in so I'm gonna say I'm from Ireland you now girls they are asking for my address they haven't given me any information about themselves either which seems strange so that's a red flag straight away and it just seems a bit odd that they'd be asking for my address so this is a point in a chat that i would just say no no i gotta go so let's say that i got to go bye and log out So guys, now we've dealt with the issue of how to be safe in a chat room and not give out personal details, which is what the Tesco Mobile Hub and the Tech and Check Mund tips have told us. We're going to move on to cyberbullying. So where was the girl who was getting bullied? Let me see. There she is right there. So you are getting bullied online and this is not good. So I have some tips for you guys to use if you are getting bullied online. It happens a lot. So here is some good tips. So if you are talk to someone who you trust it could be you know a teacher like me a parent a carer or a friend you know schools should make sure that you're not being bullied so definitely talk to your teacher um, if that is happening so yeah so talk to someone who you trust it's a very very good first tip and the second tip that I have is report the bullying to the internet like site that you're on so if you're getting you know bullied on some sort of site make sure you report it to the site because they can keep track and monitor that stuff and if you are getting bullied on your phone guys then you can change your number if you're repeatedly being bullied but I'd use that as a last resort but it is sometimes some people can text you sending saying some mean things and if it gets really really bad and it's really really upsetting you and you've told your parents but they can't help it uh, well then you should probably change your number because sometimes they'll do that for you for free if you're getting bullied and there's another tip is that you can block instant messages and emails from someone who is trying to bully you like that so like IMs or emails that are coming through you can block them so you can ask a parent or a teacher like me to help with that too but if it gets really really bad guys definitely just talk to someone you trust block them you know try stop them from speaking to you that way because it's really really not cool make sure you don't delete any of the emails or messages that are upsetting to you keep the evidence because that will help identify the bully if the bully is trying to hide and be anonymous even people who use a false name can't be traced so that is a really really good tip and don't reply to a bully that's what the bully wants it might make things worse as well for yourself so make sure you don't reply to a bully because they're all they're trying to do is look for a reaction and we don't like bullies in this school so we're not gonna try and indulge them by replying and girls, I know it may seem like I'm just saying this, but I too have been through some bullying in school and cyberbullying too. And it's really, really not nice when people are being nasty to you. But the best thing you can do is go sell someone you, you trust. So take it from me. Now, what other issues were we going to deal with today? So we've dealt with how to deal, how to talk to people in chat rooms safely so we don't give out any personal details. We've gone through how to deal with cyberbullying. We talked to someone we trust we block them we don't reply all of that stuff so what was the last thing oh right there is a girl in here who has spent lots of their parents money on a phone bill so we're gonna solve that right now so when I was doing my research on the Tesco mobile hub, I came across this thing about capped contracts. So this means you can put a cap on your monthly bill so it will be never be higher than you expect. So that's really, really awesome and definitely something you should tell your parents about. It basically gives you complete control of how much your bill is each month and you can use your phone safely knowing that you're not going to go over that bill. So once you pick your monthly tariff, that's what it's going to be at and it's really, really cool. 
and that way that issue won't come up again and you get to keep your phone so your parents won't take it off you which is super super good so I think that is everything that you guys wanted to know and if you have any other questions I'll always be around the school to let you guys know but I did all my research today and I hope that all you guys learned something valuable but uh, I gotta get out of here now well guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Princess School. I know it was a little bit different, but it was about how to stay safe online, which I think is a very important thing to know since we're all online so much. So we went over cyberbullying, how to deal with big phone bill, and how to chat to people in chat rooms that we don't know. We don't give out personal information, but don't forget to check out the link in the description to the Tesco Mobile Hub where you can find out all the rest of the information that you guys want to know. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode and thought it was educational, make sure to leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter too. The links will be down below. But until next time, see you again soon.